Thousands of families are on the road right now for the long holiday weekend, even as the CDC recommends no travel for people who are not vaccinated against COVID-19. Here to answer your questions is Dr. Ali Raja, the Executive Vice Chair of Emergency Medicine at Mass General Hospital. Thanks for being here, doctor. Thanks, Erica. All right, you know, we've seen surges linked to holidays before, right? But we're already in a surge now with the Delta variant. Are you worried at all that Labor Day could send our numbers even higher? I am, Jessica. We've seen this in the past, right? We saw this with all the holidays last year when we told people to try to stay safe and wear masks and avoid big indoor gatherings. But routinely, a few weeks after the holidays, we saw a surge. So I'm definitely worried about that this time. And I really hope that people take advantage of this great Labor Day weather and do things outdoors. Go to the beach, hit a, hit a park, don't gather indoors. Good advice. Okay, so Dr. Raja, you lead one of the busiest emergency rooms in Boston. Which trends will you be monitoring closely as you plan staffing, for example, for the next few weeks? Well, Erica, I think all of us, right, we look at the case positivity rates, we look at the hospitalization rates. But one of the things that I really like to follow regularly is I like to look at our vaccination rates because we really need to get our numbers higher or else over the next few months, we're going to be the, in the same sort of staffing challenges that we're in right now. And so right now we're hovering around 69%. We need to get more people vaccinated or we're gonna end up in a crunch like we are already. Mm. Uh, I gotta ask you this here, because the CDC says, you know, more than 99% of all COVID cases are linked to the Delta variant. We know that, we know it's more contagious. Do we know if it's more serious symptoms? What's been your experience in terms of this variant? Well, in my experience, I'll tell you, it is definitely causing more severe symptoms. The tricky part is that last year we saw folks who were older and so they were sicker. They're mostly vaccinated. Most of the patients that I'm admitting to the hospital right now who have COVID are younger and unvaccinated, but they're still getting a lot sicker than younger patients were getting last year. Well, there have been a lot of respiratory kind of viruses going around, I know, with kids, and now we're getting close to flu season. How do the symptoms compare to COVID? Do you really need a test regardless to tell the difference? You do, Erica, and this is that's the tricky part, right? Right now, if you get a fever and you get a cough and you get a headache and you get shortness of breath, it could be COVID and, and it may very well be. But as we start to see flu season kick up, it could also be the flu or any one of these other respiratory illnesses. There's no good way to tell the difference except getting a test. So the best thing to do is wear masks, use hand sanitizer, and avoid getting sick in the first place. All right, and at least the PCR tests are no longer so high up. Right. You know, they're, right. they're better, That's you know, right. for kids and everybody. Okay, thank you, Dr. Ali Raja from Mass General Hospital. Thanks for being here. Thank you.